In this video, you'll learn how to implement a custom summary calculation in the ASPX grid view. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX grid view control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the departments table of the departments.mdp sample database. To display summary items, I'll need to enable the grid's footer. To do this, I select the grid, expand the Settings property node, and set the Show Footer property to True. Within the Properties panel, I invoke the Total Summary Collection Editor. I add a new Total Summary item. I set its Display Format property to C0. This will display the value in currency format with no decimal spaces. The field name is set to Budget. I set the Show In Column property to Budget as well, so that the value is displayed on the footer under the Budget column. Finally, the Summary Type property is set to Custom, so I can define a custom calculation via code. I close the editor and return to the Visual Studio Designer. I select the grid and create a handler for its custom summary calculate event. When calculating a total summary value, this event is raised for each data row. Here, I'll add the code to calculate and display the total summary value of selected data rows. First, I create a class level variable that will hold the summary value through calculations. Within the event handler, I check to see if the event has been invoked when the custom summary process has started. If so, then the total sum variable is initialized to zero. If calculation was started and this event is being invoked again, the total summary is recalculated. Finally, the value is assigned to the total value object of the custom summary event args. Next, I'll need to handle the selection changed client side event of the ASPX grid view. I switch to design view. I select the grid control and from its smart tag, I invoke the client side events editor. Here, I'll call the perform callback method of the grid so that the custom summary calculate event is raised every time a row is selected. Finally, I create a handler for the grid server side selection changed event. Within the event handler, I call the data bind method of the ASPX grid view so the grid refreshes itself when a callback is performed. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. I click on the checkboxes to select rows, and the total summary is updated automatically. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.